and hi guys so let's start the next episode of five mcqs in five minute through which you are actually revising five important pyqs and these pyqs are not just question but the topic that we are discussing and what we are expecting that a similar kind of question might uh, uh, no, appear in your actual examination as well this series is important for fmg need pg and also for our inict aspirant because if you go through the question you will realize that most of this topic has already been asked in your uh, need pg or inict and fmg examination the very first question that i am having for the day is about a patient who recently visited our sam there was a time i think 2 years ago when there was you know a persistent and this topic was persistent that a patient coming from assam right with fever rigor and chill and altered sensorium okay whenever there is fever rigor and chill with altered sensorium and peripheral blood smear is also confirming plasmodium falciparum so this is actually going to be a case of your cerebral malaria and what i always tell you that drug of choice for cerebral malaria is none other than your iv artesunate immediately will be giving iv artesunate to the patient and once the patient regains consciousness after 48 hours after 48 hours we will be giving and after this one we will continue again with your artemisinin combination therapy what is artemisinin combination therapy that we are going to use one of the artemisinin derivative like artemether or artesunate along with some of the other drug like for example artemether lumifentrin is one of the combination of act this is mainly utilized if a patient is coming from the north east state right north east state for general population also we can utilize north east state not only in cerebral malaria na obd patient ke liye bhi use kar sakte hain artesunate sulfadoxin pyrimethamine it will be utilized if the person is coming from rest of the india in any of the scenario artemisinin lumifentin or asp artesunate sulfadoxin pyrimethamine remember we will add one more compound that is known as your that is known as your primaquine we will definitely add primaquine a single dose in a patient with the plasmodium falciparum however chloroquine and primaquine this is something that is going to be preferred this is going to be this both combination chloroquine primaquine preferred in vivax and oval what is the difference here that vivax and oval actually require your radical cure and this radical cure will be mainly done with the help of primaquine primaquine here will mainly be given for a duration of 14 days rather than your uh, falciparum that require only a single dose of primaquine on day 2 this one will be given in vivax and oval for 14 days for the radical cure i hope this question it is complete and i hope all of you guys will be able to do the question on malaria next question is about a 55 year old male who has started on you know tetracycline for urethritis which of the following agent is not preferred in this patient for prevention of gi irritation now there are chances with the tetracycline that is one of the protein synthesis inhibitor ps inhibited protein synthesis inhibitor it is actually one of the bacteriostatic drug and protein synthesis mein ye 30s ribosome ko target karta hai it targets mainly 30s ribosomal unit now can they cause gi irritation there are possibilities yes now which of the following is uh, utilized not preferred they are asking not preferred for ulcer formation ranitidine it's an h2 blocker definitely they can be used pentoprazole is one of the proton pump inhibitor like dexlansoprazole it's also one of the proton pump inhibitor they can be given what about antacid antacid is something that is not given reason being that antacid mainly has magnesium antacid mainly contain aluminium and because of this magnesium and aluminium in the antacid that we know like diazin is a very simple antacid antacid that all of you guys are aware already they actually interfere with the absorption interfere with your tetracycline ka absorption because of this they will not be given with the tetracycline tetracycline ya to dijiye mat saath mein ya there should be a gap of 2 to 3 hours always and always remember antacid is contraindicated in many scenario right antacid is contraindicated with the tetracycline yes antacid is also contraindicated with let's say eltroxin or i would say a thyroid supplement jo thyroid supplement hota hai it's also you know contraindicated with let's say ac inhibitor with many compound antacid is uh, compound that is going to be contraindicated okay they will interfere with the absorption mainly next about a 29 year old patient was started on griseofulvin for dermatophytosis okay so griseofulvin is one of the antifungal drug griseofulvin what do you know it's one of the antifungal drug it is a fungi static this is a very important word most of the time examiner give very smartly fungicidal it's a fungi static antifungal drug which of the following statement is false about this 
Grisofulvin is also one of the very very potent enzyme inducer and any enzyme inducer I have told you a couple of times already all the enzyme inducers they are mainly going to produce treatment failure they will increase the metabolism they will you know uh, cause treatment failure usually enzyme inducer with OCP there is a contraceptive failure this is a very famous example which every time examiner asks okay so it's a potent enzyme inducer yes can cause lupus like syndrome yes act by inhibiting synthesis of ergosterol or causing disulfiram yes it causes disulfiram like reaction because they are having aldehyde dehydrogenase inhibiting property but they do not act by inhibiting ergosterol remember they are mainly mitotic spindle inhibitor they are mainly mitotic spindle inhibitor and they inhibit the mitosis of the fungus they are not ergosterol inhibitor ergosterol inhibitor is mainly drugs like your terbinafine right or amphotericin b they are the ergosterol inhibitor right okay uh, next one is about a six year old child was on antimicrobial agent by uh, quack he later he complained of limping and difficulty in walking mm -hmm. orthopedician diagnosed him as a case of tendinitis so which of the following agent can cause tendinitis so it's very a famous question very specific side effect of one antibody that is causing tendinitis arthropathy and tendon rupture tendinitis arthropathy tendinitis arthropathy and tendon rupture right tendon rupture ganti bajgi you know tendon rupture so this is mainly associated with none other than your fluoroquinolones fq is fluoroquinolone all the fq all the fluoroquinolone is going to end with the fluoxacin among the agent there only one that is going to be you ciprofloxacin doxycycline again is a tetracycline it's a 30s inhibitor ciprofloxacin is one of the dna gyrase inhibitor remember guys it's a dna gyrase inhibitor it's a sidal agent again lot of information i have given you already right it's a sidal agent it's a dna gyrase inhibitor is causing tendinitis tendon rupture erythromycin it's one of the 50s inhibitor it is static most of the proteins in this inhibitor are static remember that huh? uh, erythromycin is a static drug it's one of the macrolide macrolide and cefpodoxin right uh, option uh, d here is cefpodoxin that is one of the third generation cephalosporin correct answer for this one is a i hope this is the last question a patient on clopidogrel therapy the operative intervention should be done best practice would be whenever there is a patient on clopidogrel always remember they are the irreversible adp inhibitor adp kaise kaam karta hai adp will be mainly acting through its receptor that is p2y12 so saying adp inhibitor is also same as saying p2y12 inhibitor they are the irreversible adp or p2y12 inhibitor and whenever a person is on clopidogrel you it's always advised that whenever you are trying to do a surgery try to uh, shift the person on a shorter acting antiplatelet drug and uh, is, you know uh, postpone the surgery for at least a week stop clopidogrel and postpone the surgery for a week other options are simply wrong we are not going to give Ar earlier there was also so, you know uh, <clears throat> same rule for aspirin but now they are telling that even if the patient is on aspirin you can uh, perform the surgery you arrange the blood and perform the surgery right so this was five minutes for all of you guys rather it was more than five minutes but again i hope that one minute extra will uh, cost uh, you know the will definitely be beneficial for all of you guys it will cost not, nothing extra and these are my some of the social media handle through which you can follow and all the pdfs uh, uh, will be uploaded on this uh, you know, telegram group and you can also follow me on the insta right so with this i hope all of you guys have enjoyed thank you very much please do not forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next class thank you